I had bad time after Olympia, you know, some pressure uh, from the fans. Um, you know, they didn't expect it that um, I was so bad at the Olympia. I changed all my uh, uh, preparation style, my uh, workout style. And I think I'm, I'm more hungry. I'm more hungry, you know, uh, because I want to win and uh, I want to be the best in the next show. I think it's not going to happen again to me. I'm, I'm so focused, I think there's no chance to, um, to make a mistake again. I can't wait to compete. The Mr. Olympia title is everything when it comes to being a bodybuilder. The Olympia title means you were the best out of everybody on this planet Earth. You were number one on that particular day. So it's quite the distinctive title and it's quite the honor. And a lot more goes into the Olympia title than just merely winning a physique competition. You represent the bodybuilding community to the fans out there. I tell you what, there's, there's nothing like it for me, again, in the sport of bodybuilding, like being on that stage, like having those fans and their reactions, and they've all got their favorites. Jay's got his favorites, and Phil Heath and Dennis wolf has got his favorites, and uh, I think this year is going to be one of the most, if not the most, competitive Olympia in Olympia history, because you've got legitimately six guys who can all equally probably win this title. Dennis Wolf has his work cut out for him. He had a down year last year, we all know that. He's also been in the top five twice in his career. And he's a name that's been mentioned with the Jay Cutlers and the Dexter Jacksons and the Phil Heath as a future Mr. Olympia. Does he have what it takes? Absolutely, he's got every tool that he needs to become Mr. Olympia. Now the question becomes, can he put it all together on game day? Personally, I think he's got the fire lit up under him. New York was a good showing. Top three was fine, but he was looking for a win. He needed that W in the column. And sometimes what motivates the bodybuilder best is actually losing or taking a few steps back. It's easy to get on a winning streak and just think that everything's coming up roses and everything's going to go your way. But the reality is that sometimes bodybuilders get complacent in that position. And taking a big step like Dennis did last year, I think, is probably the motivation he needs. He's been in the top five of the Olympia, so he's tasted almost victory. You know, he's been there, and that was great. But the bottom line is, is now is an angry Dennis Wolf is going to be the most dangerous as he tries to go for that Olympia title. Now, it's not going to be easy. You've got some very good talent up there. Jay's coming back for number four. You've got another Mr. Olympia, Dexter Jackson, that's going to be on stage. And, of course, the young guns and Phil Heath and Kai Green. But Dennis fits very well amongst that pack. And a pissed off Dennis Wolf is going to be a very bad Dennis Wolf on stage. Look for the big bad wolf to redeem himself and be back in the top five.